we talk about trafficking of women, but we have internal trafficking of young women from up country to town seeking for greener pastures because that, that is where the jobs are. And when they get to town, it is no job. So she ends up in the street selling sex. Andoka mtoto. Hey, buddy. It's really painful to see this kind of a girl or this girl torn apart. It's, it's, it's not right. The girl, first of all, the girl should be at home, being parented, being in school, not in the streets. Uh, trying to, 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 to survive on, on sex trade, no. We should concern ourselves in our education, in our communication, to empower women, to, to empower girls, first with formal education, secondly with informal education, so that they can have their space in this world. This is a salon, a, a training, one of the training sites for Bauri. We give the uh, Wangeshi girls to train. She, she is a trainee, 16 year old. She has uh, three siblings. She was uh, lost out there in the street. Now she has have found her place and she feels that if she gets a skill, she will be able to put it into practice. This is the greatest motivation. That's what keeps me going, that there is hope. People do change. People do find a place for themselves within their family, within their community, and within the nation. Some of them become teachers, teachers not only of their village, but teachers of many other people from many walks of life. <laughs> Welcome.